welcome pisces i'm back y'all with another video <laughs> welcome back y'all welcome back it ain't been that long since y'all seen me <laughs> all right so let's talk guys this is going to be for the first week of november the first week of november let's get a quick message just to kind of tap in and you know let's see where where we're at and where we're headed okay and this time we're going to do it in, you know, seven day increments. So let's see what we got. If you are interested in your monthly reading, guys, those are posted um, as well. I did also start a What's the Tea series, okay, where we get a little gritty over there. We talk about a little, you know, we go in. We go in over there. Be sure to check those videos out as well. Um, oh, guys, and... I have the sage bundles. I'm actually restocking, guys. You guys completely sold me out. Um, I'm actually restocking sage bundles right now. Um, trying to get them back up on the website. Everything sold out on the website, so I have to completely start from scratch. Um, but I'm so blessed and so grateful for you guys. Like, you guys are amazing. You guys have been supportive, and I can truly say that I am amazed. Like, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at the support that i got okay let's keep this thing rolling guys make sure you hit the like button don't forget to subscribe if you are new and let's get this thing rolling guys let's see pisces what messages are there for my pisces for november the first through the seventh Okay, Pisces, we got the world card here, which talks about closures and endings of cycles, okay? So some of you may have been seeing the number 999. I know I just did. Right before I saw this video, I just saw 999, okay? And it was on some views that I was looking at. I was looking at something on the internet, and I was watching somebody's video, and it had 999 uh, views. But that also kind of made me feel like, okay, well, something's wrapping up. A chapter's wrapping up in my life. Okay, so it looks like there may be a closing of a chapter here. Y'all may have wrapped something up. You may have released something during this full moon. Okay. There's going to be an expression of emotions here. It's like, I'm getting like, finally, there, I said it. <laughs> I'm getting that. Like, we have quite a few people here. We got the Empress here, which is Libra, Taurus energy. But nonetheless, very beautiful energy. Very uh, abundant, loving, caring, um, beautiful energy growth abundant we got the king of cups here pisces cancer scorpio queen of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn king of wands leo sagittarius aries and then we got chariot here which is cancer cancer and we got the lovers here which is gemini so lots of different energies here but we're going to go big strict, strictly off of energy i just wanted to put those out because some people like to hear the signs but it looks like some truth is finally coming out. There's some truth that's finally coming out. Why is the Ace of Swords here? I hope not in front of everybody. But let's see. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Oh, the death card. So you're actually possibly trying to, <laughs> some of you are trying to keep quiet or some of you aren't communicating. Yeah, there may be a secret, okay? There's some type of secret here that you aren't telling.
Some of y'all, I, I, okay, now that the story is starting to unfold a little bit, let's see before I speak too soon. Let's just see. Why is the King of Cups here? The Sun. Okay, somebody here is, there's a potential for somebody to be exposed. Yeah, there's something here that could be exposed or something that you know, but you're not saying. Why is the sun card here? Yeah, eight of wands. Okay, empress. The queen of wands. All right, hmm. You don't want nothing to do with, with this. It's kind of like you wish you didn't even know. You don't want to be outcasted. You don't want to be a part of it at all. Maybe you're just deciding if you don't say nothing about it, then maybe it'll disappear. Queen of Pentacles here. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Yeah, we got the Seven of Swords. Okay, it looks like someone, you may know something about someone. There could be like a mystery woman or somebody's cheating on someone or someone is being lied to and you know about it and you aren't saying anything about it. You, it's like you feel bad for the person and you feel like this would just tear their whole world down. You know, like... You just feel like it'll tear their whole world down. It'll mess up things. So maybe you're deciding like, you know, I'm not going to say anything. Yeah. You don't want to be responsible. Mine's the king of wands. You don't want to be the one responsible for bringing this to the light. But you do know about it. King of swords and the king of wands. I'm getting that there could be a Libra and a Virgo involved as well. Yeah, but see, I'm getting like with the Nine of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This could be very, someone could be finding out that someone, that there's a third party involved. Yeah. And you've been trying to keep your distance from this person or these people. You've been keeping your distance, okay? It looks like you've been zoomed in and focused on yourself. Like, you got a lot of things that you could be doing that you're focused on. You're not too really focused on them. Um, and you've been trying to keep your distance. Yeah, because you feel like people, this person wants to just get close to you. Want to get close to you. But you're like, hold on, uh, keep your distance because I don't mess with you like that. Why is the five of wands here? Ten of wands, yeah. For future energy, be careful because I'm seeing a lot of people. Like there's like a, it's it's kind of like crowded. I'm getting like it's a crowd of people. The emperor. Emperor is Aries' is energy, but that's also could possibly be an older man or an older woman. I'm sorry, older man. Um or father but it's kind of like waiting for someone to leave okay waiting for someone to leave but there's a lot of it's a lot of animosity going on and it changes the direction of something it's like a shift there's a possible marriage here involved <clears throat> And I'm getting someone moving in together as well, too. That's the Eight of Cups here. But you feel like the judge, you feel like it's, it's, 
time to make a final decision. There is a third party. Three of Swords and the Three of Cups here. I feel like you want this to come to the light. Okay, whatever this situation is, I'm definitely seeing in here in third party. Um, and that's not this isn't going to be a message for everyone. Okay. But this this message is distinctly speaking to people who are going through a situation similar to this. I'm getting that there is a spy here or you've been watching somebody be really aggressive. They they talk really aggressive, it's possibly to children with the Six of Cups or they talk real aggressive before. You want something to end. You want something to be over. You want something new. Your intuition told you about this person. Like, your intuition told you that this person was, was full of shit anyway. Oh, excuse my language. Was full of, you know what, anyway. You knew this already. You just waited for the final goodbye. How others are viewing this, I got them as the Three of Pentacles, okay? So, the Three of Pentacles... The Three of Pentacles is working on, working together, coming together. And the Ace of Cups here is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They have an overflow of emotions. Um, and they feel like it's something that they can get over. Okay? Five of Swords and the Six of Swords. They feel like it's something, you know, the animosity, the, you know, the problem, the issue. They feel like they can move on from that. Okay? Maybe this person um, looks to you for stability or vice versa but we got the king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn but they feel like ultimately it's their decision that they have to make okay they hope you understand that somebody here is asking for someone to see their side but somebody has some real nasty ways here with this devil card and the nine of swords and I feel like you may feel this way about this person, but this may be someone that you're not even involved with. This could be someone that's around you that's in, that's in this situation. And you like, oh, you know what? That is, I feel like that is what it is. I feel like because it's something that you aren't saying, you aren't communicating about it because you feel like it's going to, you're going to end up regretting it. Why is the chariot card here? You're hoping for forward movement. Yeah, three of cups. High priestess and the two of pentacles. Yeah, see, you you know and intuitively, you know that there's a, some type of secret here um, that somebody is juggling. You're very disappointed about it. You're disappointed. You're very disappointed. You're just disappointed all the way around the board. And maybe I feel like this is a hope. You feel as if, you know, better, this person deserves better. Or if this is you in a situation, then you deserve better. Why is the lovers here? Yeah, the magician. You can manifest a new start, a new beginning. Um, with true love. Okay, with the lovers there. I feel like there's just something here that you just do not approve of. For some of you, I don't think this is happening to you. I think this is just something that is around, maybe possibly happening to a mother here with the Empress. I got the father card here. Um, or just a friend. You feel like this person is possibly afraid to um, break or split. Because of the finances, King of Pentacles, we got someone who is very financially stable. Ten of Pentacles here, you know, worries or frustrations about money. And yeah, for some of you, this is like a divorce because I got the Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands. This is a, you know, a split, a final breakup, an ending, a divorce, you know, 
But I feel like you look at this person as the devil. I feel like you look at this person as not really a good person. You just don't you just don't see it. It's like someone's doing something in somebody's face or they're doing it and being petty and spiteful. And you just don't want you just you just don't approve. You don't approve. Okay? Like you've closed this chapter on this. You're done with, with your say so. I feel like you you've gotten to the point where you don't want to say anything at all. You're just waiting for this person to make up their mind. I feel like you feel like, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. These are my feelings. But how they view it, they're viewing it as, you know, a team effort. We're working together. The emotions is there with the Ace of Cups. But, you know, your version of how you feel and their version of how they feel is kind of completely different. All right. So y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I will chat with y'all later. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Subscribe, 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 as well as like the video, guys, so we can keep the rhythm flowing. Like the video, subscribe if you're new, and share with your family and your friends, all right? Until next time, I'm going to chat with y'all later.